Good morning everyone and welcome back to A Hat in Time. In the last part we cleared up the Battle of the Birds. In this part, well, we've got these three ones to go for. One on top of a, a well thing, one on top of a building, and one in this Ice Shatters thing. We're going to be going after that one first. Contract obligations, no. Mail delivery service, because that one should give us everywhere unlocked. Plus, we already have a pretty cool scooter. And we'll be using our scooter, because why not? We've got the badge for it, so we'll set of um, the falls one. Scooter. So, for one thing we want to worry about is this fire. We're gonna buy the Mumble Badge just because it's one of the two things that we don't have, badge-wise. Though I wish they sped up the um, pawns leaving me. So we got the Mumble Badge. When we hit 500, we'll go buy the one-hit badge, but I don't intend to use either of these things. Have you come to make another per Oh, it did not equip it. Oh well. So. I'm gonna just drive through. Thank you. I don't actually want the mail delivery scooter. I do, however, want to turn this thing down because this fire right here is restricting us. Uh, I don't know where they. Unless this is just a restriction because we're in this mode. Alright, all the minions, it's fine. However, that means we still have to go track down. Yeah, we need to find the fire spirits. And you can see there's a lot of this area that we didn't do anything with because there's another fire spirits blocking here. I don't know who said that, but that was, uh, interesting. We look new around here. We're just gonna bounce around a bit. Uh, we're looking for these green fire spirits, or any real, um, path that should lead us to fire spirits. Because, well, as it stands right now, we can't do anything. Oh, look at that, a rift token. Yeah, they're still restricting us. Uh, I bet you one of at least our stuff is sitting back there. So, that is our first goal. Find the fire spirits. Well, a painting is a good start. you dare and he drowns us so they only need two paintings one of which is right here I don't know which fire this one puts out I haven't seen any blue fire but maybe it's the green one We already knew this one was right here. Couldn't tell you what's in this picture though, but it's probably best for us not to know. Alright, I'm actually gonna leave the area with this and go around and see if I can find a safer route to those guys' um, well, platform. As long as I can get close enough, we're good. Oh, no, come come back. Come with me. Throw it right in there, and we're good. That's this thing lit up, and those guys turned off which portal? The purple one is gone. I'll take it. I haven't seen a good solid neck like yours for a long time. Still creepy, a uh, random rope guy. But, excitingly, we can now get to this portion of the area. 
which we can already see has some stuff hidden, like this yarn. And since we still are five yarn away, I'm actually really okay with the fact that we're still looking for uh, this next area. It's over here. Oh. Double jump. Oh. And we missed. Of course we missed. Oh, hey, this thing looks kind of familiar, don't you think? Is it? It is where the time rift is sitting. I didn't mean to hit that, but I guess going into it, we have one heart health is not a bad thing. The Time Rift of Pipe. Uh, because we had to track down those fox, those foxy people earlier, uh, we're a little behind. But all right, we've got some re red falls. All right, interesting. But only if you stand on the top of it. If you stand on the side, they function normally. Interesting. So, we'll head here, get our checkpoint, and I think we'll put on the ice axe because, ho ho ho, why not? I missed. Though, you can even see in the picture it's saying to use your blank ability, uh, but it doesn't have that hat equipped. Even though we told it we don't want this one, uh, we in fact want a completely different one, it doesn't care. Because I think this is still the the darkened path, or whatever. Um, not the Santa or the the well knit one that we have. I don't like these platforms. Like, of all the platform shapes, hourglasses. I mean, are fitting. Uh, not what I want to see. Because. Have you ever tried to land on an hourglass? Oh, that was uh, much closer than I would have liked. Oh, it is spinning around slightly. So we're just going to keep spinning till we happen to cross paths with it. And we did! Number 33. Complete. And we are now only four pieces of yarn away. Uh, our next goal... Oh, that's slightly different than the other one. Thank you. Since it doesn't matter if I apparently select it or not. Uh, we're going to just select it. Slightly different than the other one. I, I'll take it. Our next step. Back in there for the other blue one. Which was on top of this... This one I actually have no idea where it is. Uh, completely uh, confused at where it could be. A little troublesome, but we're going to go with it. We're just going to go with it. Oh, it switched us out of our sprint hat. Well, that's not going to work. Driving around with our sprint hat, what do we see? Ah, we see the Dweller's Yarn again. Let's give it a shot, see what happens. We missed it. One more shot, come on. We got it! Alright, Dweller's Mask gained. 
As nice as it would be to give mail to some of these uh, guys, not worried about that. Uh, I don't think there's anything that way either. So really, we're looking for a structure that could have been hiding the stuff. Uh, nope, that's towards the toilet of doom. We're not really looking for that either. Ooh, giant skull? Skull. Alright. Um, I guess we need to find those last firefoxes, because it's the only area we can't access right now. Yeah, still sealed off by fire. At least I think there's still an area we can't access. There should still be an area we can't access. Because there's the pipe. But if we keep going this way, there is nothing blocking us. Interesting. I like how many things I've run into that have just been like, oh, uh, you shouldn't have been able to get there. Uh, we're just gonna kick you out. We open up this chest and we get another rift token. It's usually that or uh, yarn. And you can see we've got a lot of available choices right now. Like there's two up there. Let's check either of those. This looks like a good spot to look for fire boxes anyways. Oh. Well, awkward. I missed. What do you have to say, random person? Random person? Nothing. Okay. Oh. All right then. I do not like that. Oh no. Yeah. Hello there. You look new around here. You know, I haven't seen a good solid neck like yours for a long time. A solid neck like ours. Interesting. Oh, well we can finally see where the last one of these guys are. However, it looks like we don't actually need to, to beat them. I don't know how many they're looking for, but this should be the entry to where we were going. We say that guy comes to get us. There, there it is. There's the rift. Come on. Into this area. Because there's something hidden over there. And I'd very much like to see what it is. Come on. I should have made it up that, shouldn't I? Is it only from like this one corner that I can make it up? Because the other pots aren't seeming to be high enough. Yeah, the only thing that's still living is this guy. Kaboom! Oh, it's just a rift token. Well, that's less than interesting.
how am I supposed to make it up there? Because I just definitely can't make the jump regularly. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not like the idea of you, Headless Statue, who wants to kill me. Headless Statue who is actively killing me. Alright, fine. At least the one thing I do have to give Mario credit for uh, in Odyssey is they give you a lot of healing. Anytime you get a moon, which is fairly frequently, they give you healing. Uh, every time you cut, uh, every time you get a new checkpoint, they give you healing. So. Alright, from here maybe? Uh, that's all I can think of. Yeah, alright, it was just from there. I'll take it. What do we have? We're at 16 minutes recorded so far. After the cutout part, we're still in plenty of time. The Village Time Raft. I like how they have it so that you can potentially do this. Oh, that. Ha! Ah. Interesting. Oh, but it's gonna be difficult without that. Oh. Um, what do we do? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, let's just swift straight to the Dwellers Mask, because we're going to probably need it in this rift, which, I mean, I can't be too surprised about. I mean, it is literally their place. And that looks like a beautiful thing to call a checkpoint. There we go. So, they shake a bit. Boy, I think they have a chance of just straight shrinking. Which I'm glad they did with the last two, because that fit my description very well. Those cookies. And we've done a lot of the time refs pretty back to back now. I did the Mafia Town ones earlier. This is going to be the last set I'm doing right now because I know how infuriating uh, the Twilight Bell and that sort of thing is going to be in um, Time Rift form. And it will be a great way for me to do it and I can just push through straight to the finale at that point. Alright. So we hit one Rift, stretch it all the way out. The next one. And we can actually make it pretty much all the way there now. Checkpoint. All that's left is to make it up to there. And it gave us optimal time to make it. Worst case, we did have our mask to catch ourselves for it at the end. What do we get? Uh, no, I don't want dinosaur. No, I don't want... I'll take it. It's the ice hat. Interesting. Didn't expect that to be an ice hat thing, because it's what? It's a... looks like a... a, uh, Ammonite shell thingy. I don't know if that's the right term for it. I know it's the Pokemon's name, but... 